Hey everyone! Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Danielle. I am an expat here in Germany. I've lived here for 10 years. Today I decided to list my 10 biggest culture shocks when I first got here. Now there could be part two, three, and four to this because there is a lot of shocks as an American expat living in Germany. A little disclaimer as well, a lot of this may seem a little bit negative. I have lots of things that I love about Germany, but that would be like a video called things I love about Germany. Usually culture shocks are things that shock you <laughs> when you arrive. So it's not that I hate Germany or anything. Okay, so my first biggest one was nudity. This actually wasn't something that really struck me in the first year probably. I think my first kind of introduction to how different Germans feel around nudity was we were gonna go to a public swimming pool and my husband's like, oh, we can't go today, it's Thursday, it's textile free day. And I was like, what the heck is textile free day? He's like, oh, that's where you go naked. You can only go if you wanna be naked. So that was really my first one. Now, that wasn't a big deal. I could just choose not to go on textile free day. Probably my second weirdest encounter was when we would make trips into the city in Munich. We have a big river called the Isar. It's really great to go there and just hang out by the river. There's lots of rocks. It's really beautiful. And if it's a really nice day, especially in the summer, a lot of people will even kind of go in for a dip. I think the first time I noticed my first kind of city nudists was actually from a distance. We were walking on a bridge across the Izar and I was like, am I seeing naked dudes over there? Like naked old men? And my husband's like, oh yeah, you're allowed to be like naked and stuff. Like it's totally normal. Fast forward years later, I've actually seen other American tourists have similar reactions to my first reaction. Like so they're like just over there naked. They're not worried about like people seeing them or like little kids looking at their thing and all these things. <laughs> it's just totally normal. As a matter of fact, even in um, public parks like the English Garden, you may even find some women take off their tops. You can't just go walking around the city without your shirt on. But if you're just sunbathing in a public park, I don't think I see a ton of people do this, but there are every now and again, like especially older women, who are more likely to take their top off. Same with lakes, same with swimming pools. It's just really commonly known to be respected here if nudity is something you wanna partake in when you're sunbathing or when you are at the water, it's totally accepted. I wouldn't say I see a lot of younger people partaking in it, but they do sometimes. So it really didn't bother me all that much. It was just definitely something that was very eye-catching to me. I had to kind of do a couple double takes and sometimes I had a hard time not looking just because I'm like, they're naked. So it really wasn't like anything negative. It was just like a shock, but I did have a couple of negative experiences in the sauna. Now sauna culture is very interesting in Germany. It's like a big wooden hot room and you sweat and it's supposed to be super healthy and you can even have like infrared. I'm not hugely educated on sauna. I do like it now. I didn't always like it. I thought it was kind of weird. If you do want to go experience some of that healthy sauna action, you are going to have to do it naked. It is actually a rule. You cannot, you know, claim yourself an exception and say, I'm just going to go in my bikini because I've done that and I've actually had really negative experience with it. Not every single time, there has been a couple times where I have managed to keep my bikini on and no one said anything, especially men tend not to say anything, especially to women. But my most negative experience, I actually even made a vlog about it, but for some reason YouTube wouldn't allow me to upload it. Me and my husband both went in the sauna. He always goes naked, he's German. It was a pretty busy day at the sauna and me and my husband were sitting at like the top far right of the sauna and an old lady came in and she kind of looked at me and she looked really really stern maybe about two minutes into her sitting down she starts like making gestures like at me and kind of looking at me like this and kind of like you know take off your clothes kind of thing and i was like oh god here we go we're gonna get a scold a classic german scold which is another culture shock especially amongst the older people it starts getting hot in there me and my husband want to leave we're starting to like feel like we're gonna pass out i was hoping she would leave first so i wouldn't have to encounter her on the way out but of course she has to like grab me by the arm which i even consider an assault and she goes you need to be naked in the sauna essentially and then i just go my German was not very good at the time. I said something along the lines of, it's not a rule, but I said, it's not a shelf, because in German, the name 
Regal and regal are very, very similar. Regal means rule, regal means shelf. <laughs> and I said, well, it's not a shelf. And I left not knowing that it actually was a rule and that I said shelf. My husband's just like, uh-oh, Danielle's upset. I think I'm just gonna distance myself from the situation. And he just left me, basically. And he went to go take a cold shower. Then another old lady came out saying, you are being very rude. It is a rule and you should be polite when it comes to being in the sauna. And I was like, I was being polite. She was the one who grabbed me by the arm. And essentially there's like an army of old women and even men who are like watching in the distance, just a bunch of naked people arguing with me about how I should be naked in the sauna and how rude I was and how inconsiderate I was, like essentially being bullied by a bunch of old naked Germans. Don't make the same mistake I did. Just wrap a towel around you, which I know it's more clothes than a bikini, but they're okay if you wrap a towel around you. Go in with a towel, not with your bathing suit, because you are likely to get a scold. All right, so I think that pretty well leads me into my next one. Germans love to scold and they love rules. Um, they are the biggest rule followers you will ever come across in a society, and that's a good and a bad thing. I think the negative thing is, is that they can come across, especially to foreigners, a little bit too harsh. It can be really shocking when you just cross the street like maybe a second before <laughs> the light turns green and you get like a huge, you know, sometimes you don't even understand what they're saying. <laughs> and they're just, you know, being really, really negative towards you. It can just be like a really big downer. But Germans are really big on following the rules. They like when everything works clean and in a steady fashion, apart from maybe a couple things, which I will mention here. They have absolutely no problem in telling people that they are doing something wrong. All right, so my third biggest one is closed Sundays. Now, this is something I knew about from my travels before I moved to Germany but it definitely took an adjustment living like that for an entire first year. At the time we were dairy consumers, so there would come times where I would get like desperate to have milk for my cereal and I'd be like, shoot, closed Sundays. I do have a couple of tips if you do get desperate and you do need some food on Sunday and you don't wanna go out to eat because restaurants are open on Sundays, swimming pools and museums, but like literally no shops are open on Sundays. And another thing that kind of goes along with it, I think especially if you live in a smaller city, Germany has really weird store opening hours compared to in the US. In the US, everything's open until like 9 or 10 o'clock and there's really not a break anywhere there in the middle. Like if you live in a smaller town like I did in Degendorf, you gotta do all your shopping before 6 or 7 p.m. because a lot of the shops do close between 6 and 7 and maybe even sooner on Saturdays, like 3 o'clock. There's also very likely to be like a two hour break at lunchtime, so shopping can be really a bit of a mess if you live in a small town. Like in Munich, it's not that bad, but still some smaller shops might have a lunch break. And also in Munich, shops still aren't really that open compared to like San Francisco where I live. My tip for surviving Sundays, especially if you do have an emergency, is just go to a gas station. The gas stations are usually open. Airports still have some shops open if you're really desperate, if you really need diapers or something like that, go to the gas station. The reason that Sundays are closed, it's basically just like a religious thing, Germany and a lot of other countries actually, it's not just a German thing have closed Sundays, it's just like a day that they like to respect for rest and being with family and doing things that are unrelated to materialism, I guess you could say. In relation to shops, I don't think Germans have the best customer service in the entire world. As a matter of fact, you may even find that some of the employees can be straight up rude. In America, I think customer service is a pretty big deal and you can get in pretty big trouble from your boss for being unfriendly to customers, regardless of where you work. Here in Germany, unless you have, you're like kind of a personal shop owner, a lot of people like in H&M or in, restaurants even <laughs> just aren't the friendliest. That's not to say that all aren't nice, but you definitely may encounter some grumpies. Like it's just definitely not against their conduct to if they're having a bad day at work to really rub some of that negative energy on you by acting really annoyed if you ask them a question. Like if you come up and say, hey, can you please help me with something? I've even had eye rolls. If you ask for a different size, if they have anything in the back in a different size, they will just like really, really fast and furiously say, everything you see here is what we have and leave. It's just, they're very direct people. They don't like their job. They have no problem telling you that 
they're having a bad day and that they hate this job. Still on to shopping. We have a lot of shopping ones actually. So grocery shopping is a bit of a competitive sport here in America. I don't know if it's still like this, but when I was growing up, you always have those people at the end who bag your stuff for free, I believe. I think you can give them tips and stuff like that, but for the most part, I think they bag your things for free. And you know, it's, it's pretty casual. I mean, some people will act in a rush. The people who are at the checkout, like they may even ask how your day was. You might have a mini conversation while they're doing the thing and the people are bagging your things up. Here in Germany, it's very, very rush, rush. Like the second that you are up, it's just like, choo, choo, choo. get all your bags ready yourself and you just get it done in the best orderly fashion you possibly can in the shortest amount of time. Because once your time is up, like, the people behind you are gonna start probably acting like you're in their way because they wanna start their marathon. I really wanted to throw a positive one in there. This is that Germany is so super clean and it actually does come to a shock to me, more so in a way that America is actually quite dirty in a lot of places. Like the cities here are pretty well kept. I think it's kind of changed a little bit in the past couple of years, but I'd say for the most part, like Germany is an extremely pristinely clean country. And I think that comes from a lot of just their very adamant attitude to following the rules and liking everything to be in order. But most of the German cities I've been to have been comparably cleaner than a lot of American cities. Okay, now we're going back onto another not so nice one. Um, I talked about this a little bit in why I left California and moved to Germany video. Germany is just a generally more to themselves culture and society. You may be in for a surprise when you just pass a smile as you walk past somebody in the streets and they just don't really know how to respond to it. They may want to smile back, but they may just be in shock because you smiled at them and they're just like, why are they smiling at me? They're just, they're just kind of like in their headspace. They've got their mission planned out for the day. They're very reserved. They don't really want to be bugged kind of attitude. A lot of especially like the older Germans you will see out wandering alone. Now I feel like it's gotten better lately and I feel like it's kind of a weather related thing. If it's like the first nice day in a while and <laughs> it's really sunny for once, then you might see everybody just out like smiling, having a great day. Be aware that every person you smile to may not return the smile. Whereas like, I feel like at home, if you give somebody a smile and icon Contact, there, there's like a 98% chance you're gonna get that in return, whereas here it's probably like a 70 to 80% chance. Next up is one that you guys actually had a lot of questions about. So if you are looking to rent in Germany, don't be surprised if you find a lot of places that don't have kitchens. I'm sure that this concept keeps Ikea happy, but I think it's really, really dumb. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It was such an annoying thing to do because we were not planning on permanently staying in this apartment in Munich, but it was like the perfect location for us. And we were like, okay, I guess it's worth kind of all the trouble of having to go to Ikea, design a kitchen that's just for this space. So yeah, we went and we designed the kitchen at Ikea. Luckily, we didn't have to pay any extra money because buying a kitchen is also pretty pricey. I think we spent like 3,000 euro on the kitchen, but like like luckily my husband's parents knew somebody who could help us build it for free. So if it wasn't for that, then we would have had to pay for somebody to install everything. So my husband and my husband's dad and this guy were all doing it, which was just such a crazy, crazy day. Yeah, then we ended up staying there only three or four years or so, which is actually not too bad, but then we had to take it with us and then we had a kitchen already in this place so we weren't gonna take it out and then put our other kitchen in. So then we ended up trying to sell our kitchen and we didn't even end up making that much money off of it. It was so stupid. Like, I don't understand why this is a thing. This is one of like my biggest pet peeves and I will never ever go for a rental that doesn't have a kitchen already, ever again. Okay, so my last one, which is more like a tip, is just always have some cash at hand. I feel like in Germany, you're a lot less likely to get away with using your card. I feel like in America, you can use your card for almost everything. Like a lot of places, like even some of the like more mainstream like food places, like Dean and David, you have to spend a minimum of like five euros in order to use your card. So just be aware, like, you know, change and cash Ash will be your best friend sometimes. I feel like it's gotten a little bit better since the last 10 years, but 
yeah, just definitely have some cash at hand. My last one I wanted to talk about that I just came up with right now is Germans and forming a line can be a little bit tricky considering how organized a lot of their things are in their lives. Like they have a really hard time with forming lines. I think it's because they're very impatient as well. So like if there's not like, if they haven't been given a rule, they don't really know what to do. Like they just start going all over the place and they get really impatient with each other sometimes. I'll be looking for where the start of the line is and I'll just be so confused because it'll just be a big blob, you know, and people just kind of start talking and raising their hands at the bakery and like the bakers are like, so who who's next? And then it's like, I was next. And then people start fighting about who was next because they just don't know how to make lines. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun. I thought it was kind of fun. And again, I have so many things that I love about Germany, which will probably be the next video. And I want to start talking about other places I've been and some of the shocks I had there, like Italy and England, all the places that I've been. But I have so many about Germany because I've lived here for 10 years. So again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in learning about more about different cultures and just following a family who has an American expat, living in Europe, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!